Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your presence, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 26th of September until the 2nd of October 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Page of Wands. The appearance of the Page of Wands indicates that you are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or lose interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The Page of Wands may also represent someone you know or who is about to enter your life. He is a trusted friend who is devoted to your interests and will do everything he can to help you. His intentions will be honorable and genuine. He is here in your life to spark change to help you see the world from a new perspective and to guide you towards a new approach. While you may look to this page as an amateur or childlike presence, he actually has a lot to offer you if you open yourself up to the possibilities that he shares with you. The second card for you is representing your present love life. Your card is the Nine of Swords. This is the card of fear and nightmares and has an apparently negative feel to it. However, the troubles alluded to in the Nine of Swords are primarily of a psychological nature and do not necessarily indicate suffering in your external reality. That is, it is what is inside your mind that is creating the fear and anxiety, 
not your actual circumstances. Your experience of the world is greatly influenced by our expectations, desires, and fears, and therefore you are largely the creator of your own world, and your attitudes determine how you experience that world. The Nine of Swords can also reflect fear of the future, or what may possibly happen in the future. If you allow yourself to be bound by fear of the future, you are at risk of eventually creating a negative reality for yourself by virtue of your expectations. Your nightmare becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy, which is clearly not a desirable outcome. Generally, this card is an indication that you are worrying excessively about a situation. You are literally being kept up at night because you are so anxious about a particular issue. It is possible you are working yourself up unnecessarily and, if you were to look at the situation more objectively, you may come to realize that it is not as bad as you are making it out to be. In fact, all that worry and despair is what is making it worse, so rather than fretting about it, do something to change it. Although most people experience fear, frustration and uncertainty at some point in their lives, you should not allow those negative emotions to immobilize you or keep you from pursuing your goals with enthusiasm and hope. Expect at least some level of uncertainty in the future, and draw upon your inner strength to remain as flexible and adaptable to that uncertainty as possible. The Nine of Swords can also indicate that you are being incredibly hard on yourself, putting yourself down or engaging in negative self-talk. For every mistake you make, you blame yourself and become worked up and angry at yourself for messing up again. So. When the Nine of Swords appears in a reading, ask yourself why you are being so hard on yourself, how are you putting yourself down or what is the source of your depression? What can you do to make yourself feel better? You may need to make a more conscious effort to quit the negative self-talk and replace it with positive reinforcement for a job well done. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life your card is the six of wands this card is all about success victory and public recognition not only have you succeeded in achieving your goals you are now being publicly acknowledged for your efforts and your results you may have recently received an award public acclaim or acknowledgement from your peers for the work that you have done it may even be just a pat on the back or getting praise or recognition for your work. This instills a high level of confidence within yourself and gives you the strength to continue your efforts. This card indicates that you have harnessed your strengths and talents in order to bring about a successful outcome in your endeavors. You have managed to get through the confusion of the Five of Wands, minimizing your distractions, focusing on the task at hand. You have overcome the challenges along the way, and now you are focusing your energies on the one goal that will lead to your success. This is your time to shine and to come out on top. The Six of Wands is such positive encouragement to believe in who you are and your accomplishments so far. Have faith in what you have personally achieved and how this will be received by others. Do not let fear or guilt stand in the way of your success. You ought to feel proud of what you have achieved and not afraid to hold your head up high and feel worthy of others' attention. The Six of Wands focused on creating success and building your personal brand and reputation. You want to be successful at what you do but at the same time, you want to ensure that others know about it and give you the recognition you deserve. You may need to promote yourself more frequently by sharing your success stories with others and encouraging them to follow a similar journey. If you do not already, you will soon have some great success stories to share within your personal networks. You may even be interested in applying for awards or scholarships in order to build your brand and receive public recognition. The downside to the Six of Wands is that it can also bring self-importance, arrogance and egotistical behaviors. 
With victory you may come to think that nobody can be better than you and you end up with an inflated ego and a big head. If you take on this attitude, someone is likely to want to take you down and criticize you, bringing disappointment and potential disrepute later on. If empowered by the energy of the Six of Wands, keep in mind how you would feel if someone made you feel inferior or put you down. Reign in your ego and make your victory all the sweeter. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Emperor. It's important to cultivate logic, discipline, and order right now. This card signifies that although your dreams are valid and sound, they still need guidelines and organization so that they can manifest properly. Create a detailed plan for how you'll proceed, and maintain kind but authoritative control over how that plan is implemented. Feel empowered to take a leadership role in your career and any projects you're working on. Structure and order are your friends as you move from the preparation stage into the execution of your plans. Believe in your ability to be a positive and diplomatic leader. Get organized so that you can be more effective. Additional meanings of this card. The desire to be a success. Stability. Making wise choices. Security. Government agencies. Law enforcement. The respect of others. Fatherhood. Archangel Michael is the angel of strength and protection who oversees everyone's life purpose. Call upon Michael for courage and strength as you make important and necessary life changes. He can also help you focus your logical mind and left brain talents upon your projects. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.